Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you ever seen my face, don't forget to go down there, click that subscribe button, and join the family, baby girl, because <laughs> we're lit. And if you are a returning subscriber, how you doing? How you doing? But I actually wanted to get into some real motherfucking tea today because this tea is a little old, but that's just still hot. Like, it's still sizzling, waiting to be told. So I thought we could just, you know, get into the tea. Let's just get. Now this is about a boy, and we're gonna call his name Froyo because I don't want to put his whole business out there. It's not that serious. It was a long time ago. So his name was Froyo, and <laughs> so it all started with a to be honest. Y'all know what to be honest is ours when you send somebody an honest opinion, and they like when they like your post, and you send them a to be honest. I sent him one, and he was like, "Oh, you're cute. LOL. Here's my number." I was like, "Okay." Makes them cute. And so I went, we, we texted for a little bit and we got to know each other for a little while, just for a quick sec. And he was like, Oh, do you ever want to meet up or something? And we can, you know, arrange something if you'd like, like a little date. If you would say so, call it a date. I did not fucking call that shit. It was a date in the beginning. And then it went left. <laughs> he picked me up and bitch, his, he pulled up with a nice car. I was like, Oh. And I, Oh. This as soon as like getting that shit, it smells good. It just smells like it just smells good. Like good car smell. Like you can tell he takes care of his car. You can tell he takes care of his stuff. I'm just all for it. I'm just like, hello, period. Let's do this. He wanted to take me to a Froyo place. That's why I'm calling him Froyo. He wanted to take me to a Froyo and it's called Menchie's. But um I had never been there ever in my entire life. I don't even really like frozen yogurt. I mean, but now that I went there that day, that shit was popping and I wanted to get I had gummy bears in my shit. We were just chilling, vibing, eating, and stuff like that. And then after we were done, he's like, oh, do you want to, like, drive around for a little bit? Because I know you don't want to go home right away. Like, we just had fucking froyo. That was it. We left. We were chilling for a little while on the whip. We ate our froyo. And then he took me to Applebee's. But on our way to Applebee's, he was grabbing my thigh, bitch. Like, you know when someone's grabbing your thigh while they're driving? Do you know what type of sensation, what type of feeling that is? I was like... No, he's fucking lying. But bitch, I was all for it. I was like, okay, like this is new. This is a new experience. I never experienced anything like this before. Let alone a nigga even picking me up. This is my just like two years ago. And I would have never thought that I would meet up with a boy after my fucking ex. After my ex, I was like, no, 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 no. I'm not falling in love again. That wasn't really the plan anyway. I just wanted to see if I could vibe with the kid. Maybe something more. We, after Applebee's, I barely even ate because you know how I am. I'm just like, just take a small bite. Because bitch, if it was me the last stop, I would have been like, ah, ah, ah. it happened really quickly. Actually, I'm thinking this shit happened over a course of a day. This shit happened like, in a more course of like two hours. But, so he's after the after the Applebee's, he took me. We went to this parking lot. Who's like, where do you want to go? I was like, we can just park up, like, just chill and vibe. Like, I'm down to make out or whatever. Like, bitch, I'm here. This is our first date, you know? So I'm like not trying to do anything extra out of the ordinary, okay? And so all of a sudden, I don't know if this is the first day or if this is the second day, because he took me out multiple times. I think this was around the second day. I think the first day he was trying to make a move on me, and I was like, nah. And I think the second day he was trying to really make a move on me, and I was still like, no. But this is what I heard, guys, okay? We're sitting in the seat. We're sitting in the back seat, you know, kissing what off. No, we were in the front seat kissing. And so, this is what I hear. Okay, this is my book bag. Imagine this is my book bag. This is his book bag. In the back of his trunk. And he's like this. All I hear is this. I'm like, what's that? I know what that is. I, and immediately I knew what that is, bitch. It's one of these. Okay? It's a motherfucking condom. And so I was like, no. I said, just like that. I was like, no. Put it back. And he was like, oh. He starts, he starts laughing. <laughs> kiki, kiki. The Kiki Kiki bitch was funny. That's not cute. I can tell, I can tell he was getting frustrated through the messages that I wouldn't like get out, I give out or put out. And I was just like, nigga, I'm not easy like that. Like, I'm not gonna just do that for anybody. But if you were my boyfriend, that's a whole different story, bitch. We could do that shit whenever, whenever, however. He's being real patient with me because I didn't want to do anything with him. And so 
but you can tell he that's all he wanted. Like he was being persistent with me, trying to be like, oh, you know, this is that, the cute, yeah, give me the whole runaround. But really, he just wanted to fucking hit. And I was just like, no, no, if you know, oh bitch, this is where the, this is where, oh, get the, get the fucking seat, get the fucking seat. This is where the tea gets interesting, bitch. Hold up. He violated my whole life, okay? First of all, mm -mm, no, he did not. First of all, he had a whole ex man. And mind you, if you have an ex, that's fine. But if you guys are still communicating and still linking and stuff like that, I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want no part in that. I didn't know that was happening, but bitch. I knew what was happening. Okay. Exhibit motherfucking A. This is a motherfucking screenshot that his ex sent me through Messenger. Okay? And I'm sitting there like Of course. And I oh But I didn't get played not once, I got played twice. Because now we got some nigga in my inbox talking about he wanna fight me. Talking about on site and that I'm disrespectful for messing with his man. Bitch, I didn't even know you had a man, okay? Thank you. Period. I screenshotted it. <laughs> I almost said his name. I screenshotted it and I sent it to his motherfucking fro yo. And he's like, oh, just leave it alone. He's crazy. Blah, blah, blah. Just leave it. I'm like, okay, like, if that's what, if you say so, like, my dumb ass. I'm like, if you say so, like, I mean, I'm still the baddest bitch at the end of the day if I'm fucking with you now. A couple days go by, all of a sudden he blocked me. Bro, yo blocked me. And I'm like, hmm, okay, that's weird, but I mean, by all means, if you, I don't care, like, I'm not even, I wasn't even really feeling you like that anyway, so go ahead, block me. And all of a sudden, like, a couple weeks later, he unblocks me. He adds me again because it says, oh, this person added you a friend, and then he texted me. I'm like, um, did you block me? Act them dumb, like, bitch, I knew you blocked me. And he's like, oh, no, I didn't block you. Why would you say that? I'm like, ew, like, this is really ew. Wow, I'm so disgusted. All the vibes are disgusting me. My dumb ass, my fucking dumb ass kept texting him. And he's like, you trying to link or you trying to fuck? Shit like that. I'm like, oh, no, ma'am. Don't come to me with that. You literally just blocked me. You unblocked me. Then you talking about, you wanna fuck? Boy, yo, get the hell out of my motherfucking face with that shit. Damn. Bitch, you know what's crazy? I seen that nigga in the store, and that nigga didn't even do nothing. I was on my whole, I was on one friend. He was with his one friend, okay? She could've got shaken if we really wanna talk about it. We was in the store, and he was just staring me down. And I was looking like, I put my phone down, I said. Like, I wish someone would try to touch me right now. That nigga walked right out the store, act like I did not exist. Bitch, I'm so, these spirits, I was just so ill, I was like, ew, bruh. what did I get myself into? All from a to be honest, baby girl, all from a to be honest, to be honest, I'm never doing to be honest is ever again, okay, because that shit got me in a sticky situation, a sticky, sticky situation, okay, thank you very much. Don't be, don't be easy, don't be trying to be all easy, and... Don't fuck with nobody who got crazy ass exes, okay? Because at the end of the day, they ain't gonna do shit anyway. Alright? So, that's it. That was my story time. That's all I had to tell you. I just had to spill a little bit of tea because... That shit was piping, bitch. And I've been dying to talk about that shit. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed this little story time. I know I haven't been uploading a lot lately. That's because I've been feeling a little unmotivated. But I'm trying to get back on the motherfucking... Wagon because you know what we have a lot of content coming soon. I have a birthday photo shoot coming up All right, and we have some vacations coming up as well. So stay tuned bitches Don't forget to stay blessed never stressed point blank period and that's on period All right, and I'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.